China has some of the most beautiful types of clay jar, and their secret lies in the production of kaolin. This is a soft white clay that is also used in making paper, rubber, paint, and other products. In today's Lord Gizmo video, we will look at how kaolin clay is mined and processed. But before that, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more related videos. It all starts with the most essential part of the process, acquiring the raw materials. This whole facility processes it, but it really starts with mining. Huge excavators and hauling trucks are working around this area that is tagged as a site rich in kaolin deposits. They are typically found near the Earth's surface, deep enough to not require underground methods. To acquire them, the method of open-pit mining is done specifically for overburden removal. This means that the topsoil and unwanted materials are removed to expose the kaolin clay. Depending on the location of the mining site, the workers might also need to employ other techniques like hydraulic mining or mechanical excavation. After that, they will be transferred to the processing facility to start the pre-processing phase. This includes the preparatory steps for the kaolin clay to be processed fully. One of the primary steps in this phase is the crushing and grinding of the rocks. The extracted kaolin is crushed and ground into smaller particles to facilitate further processing. This is done fully with machines and heavy-duty technology. It is important to note that the extracted the primary kaolin steps needs to be reduced in size so that they can be easier to handle and process. Once the kaolin is crushed into smaller pieces, they will be carried on to the next stage of the process. To make the whole process faster, huge excavators and hauling trucks are used too. These vehicles will start unloading the extracted kaolin to this area, the where they will start going through separation and refining. The whole process is facilitated by conveyor belts that help the kaolin to move from one place to another. Since this is a product of mining, it is very possible that there will be impurities. the primary steps in to remove this the that workers the will load the kaolin onto different screening methods initially facilities will sort the kaolin using sieves and screens this will separate the larger particles from smaller ones then they will start loading them into hydrocyclones that help the kaolin the main mechanism of this machine is to use the centrifugal force to separate the particles based on their size and density. This will help the whole facility have an easier time in processing them. During this process, some facilities may also insert the bleaching step. They will subject the kaolin to specific chemicals and physical treatments to enhance its whiteness and, and other density. characteristics. This the addition will help of liquid the whole or water during have this an easier step time is necessary and not a problem too, since more liquid will be added to the next step. Size and density, the whole facility, have an easier time in problem too, since more liquid will be size and density. Size and density. Part of the process of manufacturing kaolin clay is transforming it into a slurry. They do this by adding water to the crushed and refined kaolin. As a result, you will start to see a slurry or a fluid mixture starting to form. This helps the kaolin move through further Size refining. and density. The main purpose of transforming kaolin into a slurry is to make the handling and processing easier. Mixing it with water creates a fluid slurry that flows easily through pipes and equipment, facilitating efficient movement and processing. In addition, the slurry Size minimizes dust generation, improving both working conditions and product quality. Other than that, 
the formation of slurry also helps in giving an enhanced separation and refinement for the kaolin. Dispersing them in water makes several separation techniques like froth flotation, hydrocyclones, and screening become more effective. When kaolin is needed as an ingredient in other products, like ceramic glazes or paper coatings, turning it into a slurry ensures uniform mixing and dispersion within the final product. This homogeneity is crucial for achieving consistent quality and desired properties. After that, the kaolin slurry will be processed even further. This whole manufacturing process is assisted by machines that are developed for this specific matter. However, even when they are advanced enough to have sensors and monitors, the whole process still needs to be supervised by workers. This is to ensure that all of the necessary steps are done. In some cases, an additional step called hydrous kaolin processing utilizes centrifugation or sedimentation to disperse the slurry and remove impurities. Kaolin clay is majorly used in creating other products. With this in mind, it will be best to distribute them to the market without the water from the slurry formation. This is the purpose of this step, or the dewatering of kaolin slurry. They need to process the kaolin slurry over this machine that removes its excess water. In some facilities, they even pair this with certain techniques like filtration and evaporation to modify the moisture content of the clay, depending on what they need. This facility mainly uses machines that move the kaolin slurry around so that the heavier solids or the kaolin itself settles out while the water forms a separate layer that can be removed. Dewatering reduces weight and volume making transportation and storage more efficient and cost-effective. It also improves the efficiency in drying because less water means less energy needed for drying, reducing energy consumption and overall production costs. Aside from that, there are also specific applications of kaolin clay that need specific moisture content. The process of dewatering gives the facility complete control over the final moisture content ensuring product quality aligns with intended use. After that, the dewatered clay then undergoes drying, typically using spray drying or fluidized bed drying to achieve the final moisture level. Now that the kaolin is dewatered, they will be transferred to the other part of the facility where the final steps are done. Usually the kaolin will go through the last cycle of grinding. This is to make sure that the facility only distributes fine and well-processed clay. After that, they will be sieved so that the specific particle size and shape requirements are met. Different sizes and classes of kaolin are grouped accordingly to make the next step easier. Finally, the finished kaolin will be packaged. If they are still not meant for further production or distribution, they will be stored inside silos. These facilities are meant to preserve their quality. On the other hand, those that are ready to go will be stored inside bags and sealed properly before they are transported to different industrial users. Kaolin whispers stories of the Earth's history hidden beneath our feet. Now its journey continues, shaping industries and enriching our lives. Where will it travel next? The possibilities, like the clay itself, are vast and waiting to be explored. Tell us in the comments section below what manufacturing process you want to know next. This has been Lord Gizmo and we hope you learned a thing or two. Before you leave, please don't forget to show this video some love by giving it a thumbs up subscribing to our channel 
and clicking the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we have new uploads. You can also tell us in the comments section what videos you want us to feature next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.